How's it going everybody? This is another tutorial about using Pure Data to interact with Serato and today we're going to talk about setting up um, a Pure Data patch that sends both cue point messages and um, pitch messages so that you can send uh, multiple types of information to Serato. Again this should work with other sorts of programs too but um, today we're going to talk about Serato. So um, it's going to sound something like this, and I apologize if the uh, screen capture rate is a little bit slow on this. This is a video file, but I'm not going to be using the output window um, because I've got too many programs running and the frame rate is choppy. But anyway, so I'll be triggering the same cue point while um, kind of uh, changing the pitch here. So take a look here. Okay, so you get the idea. And this is something that um, has a lot of applications. So if you have a sample where someone is playing an instrument, perhaps, uh, you could basically use one cue point um, to you know, play a lot of different things musically. So uh, first thing I wanted to talk about was this discovery I made over Christmas that um, Serato actually has a 100% pitch, pitch bend range. Excuse me. So if you are in internal mode, of course, just click on the range button here in 27 um, slider in MIDI terms and so I'll have to keep that in mind as we go over to pure data and so this is not the cleanest patch ever but we'll just kind of rebuild it kind of talking through uh, everything that we need to know now up here I've created a note in object and that just tells me which buttons I'm pressing on my MIDI controller and um, when you're in pure data, of course, make sure that your MIDI preferences are set up. So in, in coming into pure data, I have the Akai MPD-24, which is what I use. And then output scratch live MIDI in. Now make sure to open Serato first and then open pure data. Or else this isn't going to work. So just make sure those are set up. And then in Serato, go to setup and disable your MIDI controller or else you'll be sending um uh, double messages basically and we don't want that of course so um you can limit the or you can filter the messages that are coming into peer data by adding a creation note in so the way that midi works in peer data and elsewhere is that it sends both a one message that has velocity and then a second message when you release the key that has zero velocity and strip note just make sure that the uh, the first message that does have velocity gets through and it filters out the second message and that way you're not hitting the cue point twice when you're in Serato. So on the MPD the uh, the first four buttons that I'm using are a MIDI notes 52, 53, 54, and 55 and so I have select objects here that will um, and then we have a trigger bang 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 object which sends the cue point message so I have mapped it on Serato here to channel 352 you can see that and that's what's happening here so on the note out object note 52 velocity of 127 and then channel 3 so all four pads will be triggering the same cue point. So whether it's the first pad, the second pad, the third pad, or the fourth pad, they're all triggering the same cue point. However, we're going to be triggering different control messages, which is um, this pitch slider here. So I've MIDI mapped the pitch slider to contr uh, continuous control number one on channel three, as you can see. and then we have some control out messages here each depending on which pad is pressed so when the first pad is pre pressed uh, note 52 it sends to the middle of the slider which is value 64 over here and then this is the continuous control number and then the MIDI channel and then we're going to send a value of 70 a little bit higher same thing uh, control continuous control 1 and then channel 3, then 80, and you get the idea. So this plays the normal pitch. Oh, make sure that this pitch lock is off, of course. 
So that's what with I know, no pitch what I know, adjustment. What I know, now watch the pitch what I know, slider what over here. A little higher. A little higher. A little higher. Okay, and so that's a way that you can get a lot more out of your MIDI performances with Serato or with other... Um, programs by just making kind of super buttons and super knobs. If you have any questions about this, I'm a little bit new to explaining peer data, so please let me know. And uh, if you would like this patch, actually hit subscribe and send me a message and I would be happy to pass it along. So I hope this has been helpful for you and we'll see you next time.